Well, I think there are no questions, uh, so uh, maybe we will. Oh, there's a question. Yes, please. Sir, my question is to Professor Kulam he has just now told that there is a, uh, he is looking for a course which for uh, the boys who can take a course on uh, this, uh, the, the, in, uh, like analytics. Uh, that, that's a collaboration with statistics, management, as well as other quality aspects. So, is there any plan to open that type of course in Calcutta? Um, I belong to, I am Bangalore, so. Yeah. That's why I question, uh, ask this question. Uh, I mean, so far we are talking uh, with uh, ISI, Calcutta, and Delhi. I don't know who will come on board, as well as IID Bombay. So definitely there will be two stations, one in Bangalore, one in, um, um, one in Bombay. And there is an external player, INSEAD has agreed to come forward. Uh, but the third, fourth venue we don't know yet. So it's more on the director level and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, I was just co-creating the concept, so that's all. Uh, we'll know in few months. Uh, so far, these three places are fixed, and the idea is to do one module in Shanghai also because there is a big demand in in China. Um, so, INSEAD, in us, and IID Bombay are on board. Uh, we are still waiting for ISI to say where it stands. So that that's as of now. This, uh, I'm Joyni Bhattacharya. I'm from uh, TCG Software Services. I have a question for uh, Dr. Uh, Ramashastri. Now, uh, in the domain uh, which uh, IDRBT is considering, I found two prominent mentions. One, of course, is analytics with respect to banking, and the other is risk management. Now, in today's world, cybersecurity is a very important component of risk management. So in that area, sir, uh, what kind of things uh, IDRPT is doing, particularly initiatives it is taking in the area of analytics and uh, cyber security merging together? Actually, uh, I didn't give all the things that IDRPT does. Uh, they, actually, one of the areas which IDRPT focuses is analytics, like business intelligence. But there is a complete second, another lab center which is exclusively for cyber security. There we have got uh, digital forensics and also information assurance. Then also banks come actually work with us and see whether the new products and new services are how secure they are and some kind of vulnerability assessment to be done. So we work on the track also. There is a track purely for cyber security at IDRPT. In fact, if you look at it, we have five separate tracks. One is analytics, one is cyber security, one is payment systems under which the mobile payments also come. The third one is the financial networks, which is equally important. Uh, Sorry, ma'am, uh, because another speaker has to speak before the minister comes. So I'll request you to please uh, uh, talk to us outside. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I think we'll end the session now. And, uh, you know, uh, the speakers will be here. If they want to talk, anybody wants to talk, they're free to come. And um, I think. Yeah. Thank you. We'll request Dr. Mukherjee to please present mementos on our behalf to our speakers to Dr. Ramasastri. And to Professor Ghosh. We will once again request uh, Mr. Arin Lahiri to please come up to the stage and present a memento to Dr. Mukherjee. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll, uh, in fact, we have come to the almost to the end of the program. You've been a wonderful audience, very patient. Thank you very much. Uh, before we start the valedictory, we are basically awaiting uh, the arrival of uh, Janab Firad Hakim, uh, the Honorable Urban Development Minister. Uh, we will. Uh, we have one more uh, technical presentation. In fact, that presentation will be a very good stepping stone to the valedictory session, where we'll be launching uh, the concept city of Ideopolis. Uh, I would request uh, Mr. Devda Sen.
uh, CEO of the Technology Ventures, the Chatterjee Group, to please uh, come up uh, to the dais. Uh, Mr. Sen will be uh, making a presentation uh, and speaking on uh, perspectives, Kolkata as an analytics destination. Mr. Sen is the CEO of the Technology Services and Products Companies uh, of the TCG Group. These include Skytech Solutions, TCG Software Services, M-Cube and Celsius Technologies with operations in India, US and the Middle East. Dr. Poonandu Chatterjee is the founder and chairman of TCG. He established TCG in 1986 as a global enterprise focusing on technology and knowledge leadership which today has diversified interests in investment banking, real estate, petrochemicals, life sciences and healthcare, hedge fund and wealth management products, outsourcing and technology services including BPO. Before joining the TCS group, Dev Das was an executive director and partner with PricewaterhouseCoopers India. He was an analytics competency lead for Europe, Middle East, Africa and India. He has 17 years of experience all in PwC. He has built several businesses in PwC including the business intelligence and analytics business in India which today is one of the largest analytics practices in India. Dev Das is a BTEC Honours from IIT Kharagpur in Electronics and Communication Engineering. He has also been an active contributor in leading journals and has been a speaker in many seminars in the US and India. May I request Mr. Sen to please deliver his address. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Almost good evening. Uh, as the Sodeep said, it's been a fantastic audience. And when in the last session, uh, when things are talked about questions and no questions was coming up, I was thinking this audience is sleeping on us. But then there was questions and it's wonderful to see that the interactions continue, that it's been a similar format that's been applied for most of the day. So it's been, it's been fantastic to, uh, to see all of you uh, be here. Uh, Shubhadeep said that I need to talk about uh, analytics or uh, Kolkata as an analytics destination and when uh, Anguna came to me this morning and said that this is what I need to talk about, I, I thought I was speaking on something else till this morning. I said that well, uh, I am a convert. I, I passed out from my KGP, waited for a job in Kolkata, joined PwC in Kolkata right after KGP as a campus recruit. Uh, went abroad, worked in New York, London, various other places and came back to the city that I love, the city of joy, Kolkata. So I am a convert. So when Angona said that you could speak for or against, I think it was uh, fair, fair complete. I mean, I am a believer in that. So, but it's not just about beliefs. It's also about facts. And in an analytics seminar, I mean, some data has to be thrown. So we were doing some, some research to see how does Kolkata fare today in the spectrum of analytics. Uh, about 4% of the analytics professionals in India is from Kolkata. That's what uh, one of the surveys from Analytics Magazine uh, last year said. Uh, about 500 startups have been analyzed and about 3% of those startups are in Kolkata. Just to say how many startups are in Bangalore or, uh, or in Gurgaon, the, the numbers are around 20% or 25%. So, so we do have a lead start and others have started. There are 500 startups. So how can we be different? So I'm going to talk a little bit about, it's not about you know, whether we can do it, it's more about how we can do it. So how can we be different? Uh, one very important aspect which was touched upon in all the three sessions that I was sitting in, in the la you know, post lunch is that it needs to be an ecosystem. It needs to be an ecosystem of ac academic institutes, of startups, of large companies, of finishing schools. And it's this ecosystem that needs to be created if you want to be called a destination. Can we do it? Do we have it? That's the question that we need to answer. Uh, Ideopolis is certainly a start, but then the ability to create that ecosystem is going to be very, very critical. Yes, we do have a ISI here, IDKGP is quite close by, great colleges uh, in the city, but it's, it's, it's more than that. The other piece is the ecosystem does not exist in a silo. In today's connected world, the ecosystem is the global world itself. You know, and we need to be able to get into and connect with what's best around the world. And that's how the ecosystem develops. For example, in TCG, what we are doing right now is, uh, you know, we are one of our businesses in the area of uh, of aviation. 
So we tied up with the School of Transportation at uh, UC Berkeley and the dean out there, uh, Dr. Jasanka Rathas, uh, she with a couple of PhD students is helping us solve some of the most complex problems that's there in the aviation industry. For example, uh, many of us, or all of us fly and the wait time of an aircraft once it lands till the time it gets to the gate is something which is extremely expensive not only from our own time perspective but also for the airlines and the airports. So that's one of the biggest problems that, has, that is there in the aviation industry today. So we have focused on that problem along with UC Berkeley trying to solve that. So one very, very important thing is that if we are to become a destination of choice, we need to solve the most difficult problems that exist in the world. We cannot be a me too. As Pritish Prithi was talking about, we cannot be another sweatshop. We need to differentiate ourselves. And one way to differentiate is to think about and talk about and try and solve the more difficult problems that are there. Having that courage would potentially make the difference. You know, for example, uh, when we're talking about the consumers of analytics, the users that use analytics, they're used to Google. And, you know, uh, Dr. Ram Shastri was, you know, he finished the, the presentation saying Google, and everybody is used to the speed of Google. So that's the expectation that the consumer has, that as I'm asking the question, at that speed I should get the answer. So having that peace in mind is something very, very important. The consumers of analytics are expecting answers at that speed, at Google speed. So we, do, we, we, we are into product development. We have a product called uh, MQ, which is uh, mostly in a stealth mode right now. We would, uh, we would do the launch in the first quarter of next year. And one of the philosophies that we're following there is that it needs to be Google speed. So it needs to, you need to click on it and the information needs to go on the screen. How we do it, you know, the, the technology behind it, etc. You know, a lot of sessions is, has been spoken on that, big data, uh, map reduce, etc. We can, we can go on on that. The other piece is, uh, is where is analytics today? With the consolidation that has happened in the BI industry, one key element that has happened in the last, uh, I would say, six months to a year is around the analytics of unstructured data, analy analysis of unstructured data. Shobik was talking about Watson. I mean, fantastic example of how unstructured data can be analyzed. I mean, I have been an analytics profession for the last nearly 20 years, and that's been a dream for all of us, that how can we do data mining and text mining? And that piece is finally becoming reality having a critical mass. Uh, you know, about, uh, about a month back, or in fact about two weeks back, I was uh, at one of my clients. It's a, it's a very, very large uh, global corporation. And uh, we were trying to understand the security threats that exist within that organization. And this is a very, very large organization, I'm talking about one of the top ten organizations in the world. Now, what they were trying to figure out is that, is there somebody in their ecosystem who has the potential to leak the information out? Because they were very scared that what Edward Snowden did to NASA, some of their employees could do to them. And, and, and many of us know about the story that Edward Snowden used to be a contractor with NASA after he left. He leaked a lot of cables of NASA into the public domain. So this very large organization was talking about, is there an employee in their organization globally, and they are present in about 125 countries, who have a potential to leak their information, which could be very, very decremental to the, uh, and this is an airline company, to the flights that they fly. So that's another problem. And we are working with uh, a gentleman called Jim Penrose, and, and he's from, he used to work in Pentagon, now works with a, uh, with a company in Cambridge, and, and there are partners, and we are trying to solve this. Another example of how unstructured data analysis could make a huge difference in the days to come. And when I talk about this, one thing becomes very, very critical is that all the examples that I'm giving and many of the examples that were given in the last few sessions have a very strong business context. The, the whole line between technology and business gets blurred 
in the area of analytics. Having very deep sectoral perspective, understanding the, the issues of the sector, understanding the information in the sector, and be able to give insights and, and, and you know, help uh, decision support is what differentiates analytics. And, and if we are to become a go-to place, we need to bring in that sectoral focus. If there are a set of sectors that we want to focus on in ideopolis, that's something that we need to think of. We can't be a you know, master of all trades, so what is it that we want to focus on? That's something that we need to think of. The other thing is, uh, and this is, this is the opportunity. I started by saying that only 4% of the professionals in India, analytics professionals in India are in Kolkata. But what is also true is that every minute, I'll give you some data out here. Every minute, Facebook users share about 2.5 million pieces of content. Twitter tweets about 300,000 times. Instagram posts about 220,000 new photos. YouTube use, uploads 72 hours of new video content. And Apple downloads nearly 50,000 apps and so on and so forth. And this happens every minute. If 80% of world's data got created in the last two years, a lot more, many, many times more, will get created in the next few months and years. With the advent of wearables in the consumer space and with the advent of sensors in the industrial space, this is the opportunity that we need to grab on. Again, if we want to become a, you know, a destination of choice, we need to think a few months, a few years ahead. Where would the market be you know, six months down the line? one year down the line and peg ourselves to that and try and solve problems which make a big difference in the world. Otherwise, it's a tough world. But I think and I believe that we can do it and that's the belief with which BCCI has launched this initiative. It's a fantastic initiative and I think all of us would support that fantastically. Thank you.